have you seen those carousel images on Instagram where you swipe through them and they're all intertwined and connected and it looks so cool, but you think because it looks so cool, it must be super hard to make? Yeah, well, you're about to learn how to easily create your own seamless Instagram carousels using my favorite tool ever, Canva. What's up everyone, it's Millie. Welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help you grow your brand. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest tips and tricks I have for you. First, I wanna say a huge thank you to this video shout outs. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. So if you wanna shout out in one of my future videos, be sure to screenshot yourself watching this and tag me over on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments down below because I value your time and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. I'm gonna be showing how to do this on the desktop version of Canva. I never use, I, I never use the app version. So just to let you know, every Canva design that I do, I always use desktop. So let's do this. To get that seamless carousel post, you're actually going to be making one really, really, really long design. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to create a design and you're gonna do a custom size. Now the size that you choose is totally up to you. Let me show you some options. The first thing you need to decide is with your carousel posts, do you want them to be the square or do you want them to be like the four by five longer styled? Let me show you this on my feed so you can see it. Okay, so when I say, do you want it to be square? I'm pretty sure this one's a square. Yeah, so this is a square 1090, 1090? This is 1080 by 1080 square format, perfect. But then recently I started doing the four by five format, which is 1080 by 1350. As you could tell, the left and right sides are a little bit longer, making the graphic taller. So you'll have to decide whether you want the square format or this long format. I'll show you how to create it for both. Now with the square format, let's say you want to create five slides, create a design, custom. We're gonna do, because the dimensions are 1080 by 1080, um, if you wanna do five swipes, five slides, you're gonna do 1080 times five is 5,400. Woohoo! So the width is going to be 5,400 and the height, height is going to be 1080. Then when you go to create the design, it's gonna be super long. Um, I'm gonna do it for the like hot dog style one, which is, width is still 1080, I believe. So 1080, 1080 times six. If I wanted six slides, that would be 6,480 times instead of 1080 for the height, we would do 1350. Catching my drift so far? Cool. So 1350 is the height. Do you want square 1080 or do you want the longer four by five, which is 1350? We're gonna do 1350 because I wanna show you something else that's important. Create new design. So when you create your new design, it's going to look like this and you want to make sure you go to file, show rulers and show guides. You want both of those turned on. That's going to help you create the separation for the slides. There is these templates that automatically pop up. So if you're somebody you're like not familiar with design at all and you wanna play with templates, you can absolutely do something like this and then change the coloring to fit your brand imagery. So I would go here, change it to my brand, change the blacks to maybe blues, change all. Change this one to a yellow, change all. Change this one to my off-white, change all. Yeah, so this could be my carousel image. So that's definitely an option. You can use the templates, um, but if you have your own specific branding, your own specific graphics that you're using, you wanna just have the creative freedom to do whatever you want. The next step is going to be creating guides so you can separate the pages. So with this one, I believe we did six carousel slides. So I want to drag this first ruler to, or the first guide to 1080, because that is where our first post will end. I'm gonna zoom in so I can have a better, yeah, better control of the number. Perfect. And then you're gonna keep doing that for each one. So 1080 times two, I keep doing 1808. 1080 times two is 2160, 2160, 3240. There it is. 1080 times four, 4320. 1080 times five, 5,400. Now this is how you'll be able to see the separation of pages so you can make those fun connections with your design. For me, let's have a yellow background. 
Sometimes with my graphics, I like to add textures to the background just to give it a little bit more flavor. Um, I have my patterns here. So these are some textures that I could use. I can make them a little bit less intense. So if I wanted to change the transparency, I could do that, change the background, boom. And then it's a little bit more faded and not so much like in your face but that's just like a little pro tip. It just adds a little umph, you know what I mean? But that's not what we're here to do. We are here to make the, the seamless carousels. I'm gonna use some of my graphics that tend to connect well between each slide. So this one is a good one for connecting. Like I really like doing that because that way when you slide over, it's like, woo, the little hoop keeps going. And then like if you, want your own rainbows, you can absolutely look up rainbow, right? And then create your own that connect. Like this one, I like that. You could probably change the colors of it. Um, but I also want to, I think I do want to play with textures, at least for the last, oops, maybe the last two pages, something like that. And then have it a little faded and change the colors to maybe my branding a little bit more. That could be cool. Let's actually look up arrow because I like it when there's like an arrow encouraging you to swipe. I'm gonna click graphics. Don't really want any of the moving ones. And my brand is really hand drawn. Like it looks like everything is hand drawn. So I try to find stuff like this where it's hand drawn. And uh, let's start doing some text. I'm not going to show you how to create each slide because I'm sure you'll get the hang of it just by me, literally just by me showing you this first setup. But I do wanna point out something that is important if you're editing these carousels in the four by five dimension where it's taller than the square. And what we wanna do is you wanna add more guides just for your first post because your first carousel is going to be the cover of your feed and you don't want the text to get cut off. So this, my text in this one is perfectly in alignment, but when I open, da -da -da, when I open it, there is some extra space here and it doesn't matter what's down here because what truly matters is what fits in this square crop. So you wanna make sure that your text and everything is fitting within the square crop, at least on the first carousel. What we're gonna do is, just trust my math here. Because you want it to fit in the 1080 by 1080 crop, right now it is 1350. So we're gonna do 1350 minus 1080 equals 270. That means there's 270 extra megapixels, pixels? There's 270 extra pixels up top and bottom. So we're gonna evenly divide that by two for the top and bottom and get 135. We're gonna drag the first guide First guide to 135, see? And then this one, 135 to 1215, 1215. How did you get 1215? Well, the guide helps you there. Automatically the pink brings you there. But 135, we're gonna do 1350 minus 135, 1215, okay? So now when you're creating your first page, you want it to fit in this square perfectly for your cover image or that front image in your feed. Now I'm not gonna show you everything. I'm just gonna add a few graphics in here so that I could show you the final product of the swipe working. So just, it's not gonna look beautiful. It's gonna probably look actually horrible. Um, so bear with me while I add fun stuff. Kind of looks like a butt. <laughs> We're gonna add a random squiggly line that doesn't make any sense, okay? But it'll help with like seeing the swipe all the way through. All my graphic designers are like, what the heck are you doing? Okay, so when you download, you're gonna download it as a PNG and bump the size up to 1.5 just to make it a little extra crispier. Crispier, like some French fries. That's how I like, actually I like my fries softer. So what's good crispy? Like bacon? Yeah, or, or hash browns. Is it hash browns or hash browns? Like where do you put the emphasis? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> How do you say hash browns? Do you say hash browns or hash browns? Yeah, we went there. Um, so you're gonna download as a PNG 1.5 to two, nothing more than that and download. 
While I have the design exporting, I wanna take a minute to say a huge thank you to this video's sponsor, Zyro. Zyro is a website builder that lets anyone create amazing websites and launch online stores with no coding or web design skills needed. If you're someone who is just getting started and you're looking for a place to host your website, I recommend using a platform like Zyro because I'm speaking from personal experience here. When I created my very first website years ago, I used another website that claimed to be affordable and easy to use, and it was a nightmare. While it was easy to use, apparently there were a bunch of hidden fees where I started my subscription at maybe like $12 a month, and then by the time I canceled, I found out I was paying over $40 a month, and I had no idea where those charges came from. So I remember once I started getting sponsored opportunities on my YouTube videos, I told my manager I would never recommend to that other company. <laughs> so when I recommend Zyro, it doesn't come lightly. Their tool is actually super straightforward and easy to use. I even have this video here where I show you how to make a media kit landing page on your website. So if you are curious about Zyro, you can watch that video to see if it would be a good fit for you. You can get your domain, host a website, and make sales all in one place with Zyro, which makes the whole process so much easier than having to juggle multiple platforms for each different thing. If you're ready to create your own amazing website, use the limited time link down below to get three extra months free with all yearly plans and your own custom domain for a year. You can build your new website for less than $3 a month. So follow the link below or go to zyro.com and use the code Millie. All right, now that it is exported and downloaded, we are going to cut the image so that it fits in the carousel. You can do this on your phone or on the desktop. If you're doing it on desktop, I like this website, mysocialboutique.co. It's great, easy to use. I prefer to do everything on my laptop just because I'm already here. But if you're somebody you're like, I'm just gonna airdrop it to my phone or I'm gonna send it to my phone and I wanna cut it on my phone, you're gonna use apps like Panorama Crop for Instagram or Unsquared for Instagram. Those are two apps that you can use. Pretty sure both are friendly for iPhone and one of the two are friendly for Android users. I forget which one it is. Let's upload our image. So I'm gonna just drop this here. And there it is. The great thing with this website is you can do the carousel crop, or if you're somebody who you want your three by three, the nine images to all connect and you're editing each photo separately, you can do that here too. We're not doing that. We're not doing our grid. We're doing a carousel. So we're gonna do carousel and we're gonna crop it into six because that's how we made our measurements. And then we're going to split the image. And then we're gonna download these one at a time. Perfect. And I don't have a Mac or an Apple, so I'm going to upload these to my Google Drive so I can get them onto my phone. I just saved everything onto my phone, so this is what it looks like. Final product swiping through. Boom. Ooh, yeah, it connects so well. Love that. And it's hard to see with it in the camera roll, so let me just put it onto Instagram real fast so we can see the full carousel effect. Boom, post. I wanna go to the first image, then select this, two, three, four, five, six. And now when you go next and you swipe through, you can see how it all seamlessly connects. It looks so good, and I love it. I love it. Bet you didn't believe it was gonna be that easy, but it is. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hug that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss when I post my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Follow your joy. Bye.